Hey guys, hope you're well. I just want to come on here and tell you, uh, well, I asked the question in the title, are our children being exposed to secondhand scrolling? And Lauren and I, we were just in Orange County uh, yesterday and the night before. We'd gone to Legoland with the whole family. And we, um, we spoke at a church Saturday night, just be church. And then we spoke at um, Presence OC yesterday morning. And I talked a bit about the movie uh, Christopher Robin, and I forgot to say one thing. This quote that I saw the other day online, it was this, scrolling is the new smoking. So I wanna tell you a little bit more about that. I wanna explain what I meant by my question, are our children being exposed to secondhand scrolling? But I also wanna tell you about an event that we have coming up. We're coming to the New Orleans area. Lauren and I both are gonna speak all day Saturday, like nine to five. Uh, we're gonna do a win-win parenting workshop. And then Sunday afternoon, we're gonna do Revival Families a whole event just for kids and parents together. We're gonna do four sessions, three hours. It's gonna be amazing. Both the Win Win Parenting and the Revival Families are gonna be off the charts. We're gonna do November 10th and 11th in Hammond, Louisiana at a church called the Mission Church. And right now, the event is actually, there's an early bird special until September 23rd. But gonna be really amazing and what I'm about to tell you right now is something that I spoke about yesterday morning in Orange County and something I'll teach on very clearly uh, during that workshop but um, it's that from this quote scrolling is the new smoking and I remember when I was little there were there was a lot of just new discovery kind of that smoking was really dangerous um, you know, I don't know if you've ever seen those really old commercials, but they're super old commercials that say like, what cigarettes do your doctors recommend? Camel is the number one doctor recommended cigarette. And it's like videos of doctors smoking cigarettes. Like, that was before we really knew it was dangerous, before we really knew it was giving lung cancer to people and stuff. But when I was a kid, they just pretty much found out for a little while that smoking was dangerous, not really good for us. But when I was small, the big deal was like, you don't wanna smoke in your cars if you smoke, you don't wanna smoke in your house if you smoke, because your kids are breathing in secondhand smoke. They're breathing in an atmosphere from the smoke that you're releasing into the room. And they were saying things like, it's actually more dangerous for kids to be breathing in secondhand smoke than just the parents smoking cigarettes on their own. So. That was crazy um, as I was growing up, just really crazy. But now to, to see this quote that scrolling is the new smoking and me asking the question, are our children being exposed to secondhand scrolling? I'm asking the question, are our children living in an atmosphere where we are, that we're creating as parents where we're just scrolling, 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 and in that they're in an atmosphere where there's not much attention, there's not much attention span, there's not much focus, you know, parents are super distracted, they're having to figure stuff out on their own, or they're figuring it out just from using their own devices, maybe they're doing the new smoking already too, at a really young age. Um, so that's my real question is, are our children being exposed to secondhand scrolling? And here's one thing I wanted to share. I, I said this yesterday at the church, but um, you know, I did a 30 day no internet at home whenever I was with my family, a uh, little journey for myself. And it was absolutely amazing what I discovered about myself, what I discovered about the potential for full attention in the home and what was possible when we're fully engaged. And it was really, really powerful for me. But one of the things, I said yesterday about this was, <clears throat> sorry, I just got something in my throat. I, I said yesterday that um, I, I did this journey. I discovered a lot about myself. I discovered a lot about what was taking place, a lot of what was happening um, when I wasn't paying attention. But the thing I noticed the most was my wife was not saying, Hey Seth, the kids are calling you. The kids have been calling you. They've been calling your name over and over. And, and I have to put the phone down and engage with my kids. 
that stopped happening when I was doing the 30 days no internet. It's only happened a couple times since because I've been aware that, oh, scrolling for me has the potential to take me completely out and create an atmosphere in my home where there is little attention or little attention span, little focus on the kids. And so that's one thing, one way you can recognize if your kids are exposed to secondhand scrolling is if they're having to call our names over and over, we're creating an atmosphere that's probably not really healthy at all for them or for us. So just wanted to drop that on you. Uh, just wanted it to be something you think about as parents. Like we actually need to think about how we use our phones. Of course, I love phones. I love technology. I'm all about it. I'm on it right now. Here we are. I love this but we really need to think about how we use it. We really need to think about how we engage with it. We really need to think about if we're demonstrating to our kids a healthy lifestyle with our phones, with our technology, or are we creating an atmosphere that's not healthy for any of us and that will affect them later. You know, the little kids when I was small exposed to secondhand smoke, it was like, hey, your parents are creating an atmosphere by their habit that, that, that will affect you later. It may not affect you right now. You may get a little bit of asthma, but later it'll really mess you up if you're a kid growing up in a home with smoking. And I'm trying to bring to our attention, it might mess our kids up really bad later if they're growing up in a home where we're as, we as parents are creating an atmosphere that's not healthy, that has no attention. And... Uh, yeah, something to think about, something to check yourself on, something to ask yourself. Are you using your phone in a healthy way? Are you creating a healthy atmosphere for your kids to grow up in? Are they going to use their phones in a healthy way because they've seen you do it? So just some questions with you with my original question. Are our kids being exposed to secondhand scrolling? We know the answer is yes in way too many families, and we don't want it to be a yes in our family. No way. So bless you guys. If you're in the New Orleans area, I hope you can join us. It's going to be amazing. Bring your whole family to Sunday and parents on Saturday. We're going to have a lot of fun. Bless you guys. Thank, for, thank you for watching. Bye.